Hey gearheads and welcome to Grouse Talk. I'm Corey and that is the Honda Prelude concept. I'm at the 2023 LA Auto Show. Back behind us is the Prologue future production vehicle. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of the electrified future of Honda. Yes, this is a possible rebirth of the Honda Prelude name in a sexy two-door coupe. And this will be a battery electric hybrid vehicle. So not a full electric vehicle, but a hybrid. So yes, we will still get a gasoline engine under the hood. I'm guessing by the proportions, it will be front drive biased, much like the previous Prelude, Prelude, however you wanna say it. But oh my goodness, is this thing absolutely beautiful. Coming down to the front, uh, ironically, very uh, Toyota Prius-like front design elements, but uh, as we move along the side, this is much better looking than the Prius ever could be. Everybody is calling the new Prius the sexy Prius. This is the ultimate sexy hybrid uh, from a Japanese automaker. This thing absolutely looks gorgeous. Please, Honda, build this. Whatever you do, build this, uh, pull whatever strings you have to. As we come around and look just at the intentions of this vehicle, we get some uh, Continental Sport Contact 6 tires wrapped around these black wheels, hiding some blue painted Brembo brakes. So again, some performance intentions here. Moving back, you can see some carbon fiber uh, skirting, some carbon fiber mirror, so you know they're paying attention to weight. We even have a carbon fiber roof on this. So again, paying attention to weight, paying attention to braking, stopping power, and uh, just overall a very curvaceous, very, very attractive design all the way around this sloping rear tail line. Uh, just looks absolutely amazing. I like what Honda is doing with their future electrified vehicles, spelling out Honda in this interesting font on the back and then prelude and script there down below it, the LED light bar running across the back. Can we just appreciate how good looking this prelude coupe is? It really looks uh, the part and uh, I cannot wait to hear more from the brand on future production versions of this. Again, carbon fiber, uh, lower uh, fascia down here on the back, all around, very clean, very sporty, very good looking. Again, this is a hybrid. So uh, very interesting to see what uh, Honda's got up their sleeves here on this one. And then as we pan around, uh, talking the electrified future of Honda, for the meantime, Honda is partnering with General Motors for this this is the prologue and this will be their first all-electric vehicle built on general motors ultm platform and they are targeting 300 miles of range even on these large um, i believe these are 21 inch wheels as we come in and look here but yeah estimated 300 miles of range 21 inch wheels and tires and a very squared boxy look very stark in contrast to the curves of the Prelude, uh, but still very much a Honda, very familiar uh, in the grand scheme of things. I absolutely love, I believe they're calling this the Pacific Blue. It really looks good. I love uh, that color is coming back into automakers design palettes. I like the contrast of black against the colors here. And then uh, Honda is righting the wrongs of General Motors. Their electric vehicles will still use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So uh, very similar infotainment screen in here from the Honda Accord that we're used to seeing. And overall, the size of this, I would say uh, very much uh, similar to the Blazer EV from Chevrolet, which is in itself a little bit bigger than the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Uh, I do wanna call out just getting some of the glint uh, glances of this paint in the light here that it is a metallic paint but yes uh, overall just a little bit bigger than a Ford Mustang Mach-E I don't want to peek in the back just yet there's somebody in there uh, taking pictures and doing work it is the media day after all at the auto show but you can see a center pass through there 
uh, for storage underneath this bridge style center console. Very nice look up there. A little bit too much gloss black plastic in here for me, especially in high touch points uh, and across the dash up there. So that is not my favorite, but you can see just how much room is back here in the back seats. We get air vents on the back of the center console. We get USB-C power back on the back of the center console. Really like the use of color uh, and materials all the way around in this, the contrasting stitching as we look inside the two-tone interior i'm going to try and light this up uh, just a little bit better for us but it is rather dark here i also like how um, you have these fixed or removable but uh, not detachable covers uh, for your child seat covers back here in the back and then as we come around to the back of the vehicle, again, much like the Prelude up front, you get that Honda uh, blocky uh, letters back here on the back. You get the Elite trim, which is their uh, top trim. You get this E logo, which is signifying that this is an all electric model from Honda. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get in. Yes, we can. So LED lights back here, LED turn signals, and tons of storage space back here behind the second row of seats. Looking underneath the false load floor, even more storage down here, which is a nice touch. You can see we do have uh, top tethers all the way across in the back seat, even though we didn't have lower latch points all the way across. These seats do recline just a little bit uh, here. So that is upright and that is reclined. Just wanted to call that out. And the hatch close button is actually way up here on the hatch. I'm sure that is a completely programmable uh, hatch uh, in its op opening mechanism, but wanted to take a look at these wheels and tires. Very fun, unique six spoke design uh, with a six lug showing you just how heavy this battery electric vehicle is uh, that we are needing a six lug uh, design for it. These are wrapped in 275 45R21 inch Bridgestone uh, I'm trying to look for a Linza tire. So similar tire design to what we saw on a General Motors uh, GMC Sierra Denali with these Alenza tires. Now that the inside's free, we will take a peek to the inside and see what's going on here. We do have a power seat up here with lumbar. So that is a nice touch, getting it about where I'd want it. We do get two person memory. Some of the controls in here, you can definitely tell the collaboration with General Motors uh, taking part the steering wheel controls. This is definitely a General Motors steering wheel. You cannot deny that uh, just by looking at it uh, from uh, combination with the Blazer. You get a standard uh, screen, full uh, digital display screen up here, uh, hidden behind the steering wheel. So nice touch. Also get General Motors new um, gear selector stock here. I think the interior of this is a little bit more well thought out than the Blazer. The Blazer EV just felt a little chunky clunky and uh, didn't have a cohesive design. We get a couple USB-Cs here, a little bit of power here, this nice flat tray that can catch practically everything. A couple cup holders, Chi wireless charger that is out of the way. I like that. And then under, uh, under console storage here. So uh, my wife could put her purse here, whatever the case may be. A large center console here, not too bad. Uh, fairly good size glove box. It is damped, but it isn't lined with felt. So if you put something hard in here, it will rattle. Again, just noting the uh, gloss black plastic. Don't really like that. This is ripped straight out of the General Motors uh, mid-size pickup trucks, Tundra, <laughs> Tundra, uh, Colorado and Canyon straight out of those, but you do get dual zone climate. And then moving around to the back seat and taking a look at what it's like here in the back seat behind myself at 510, plenty of room, definitely a lot of room back here. Again, talking about it being a little bit bigger than a Mach-E. We do get two USB-C ports back here, household style outlet back here as well. A little bit of storage, air vents, and then the center seat, much like on the uh, Blazer EV, sits a little bit lower. 
than the outside seats, but you can see here, uh, I've got plenty of room, even with the uh, dual pane glass roof up above us. But uh, let's finish our exterior tour. But overall, really like the uh, clean lines, the boxy but fun shape of this prologue. Definitely like the curvaceous and sexy shape of the prelude up, up front. Uh, let me know in your in the comments down below your thoughts of this vehicle, what you think of the battery electric future, whether it be hybrid or full electric here with the prologue uh, down in the comments below. I, I think there is a future here for Honda. Uh, very interesting that they've partnered with General Motors, but that is it uh, for these two electrified models at Honda. If you wanna see more from us here at the LA Auto Show, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified when future videos drop from us. You can find us on all social media platforms, GT Garage Shock on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all the things, or go to gtgrosstalk.com. But as for me, at the Honda booth of the 2023 LA Auto Show, until next time, gearheads, bye.